Radio Irish presents 25 Years Ago in Ireland, a bit of an odd look back at some of the notable events of the year 1983 with Bob Gallico. Hi there. The time, February 1983. The place, Ireland. The tigger which became a tiger. In a month in which the buggers in the Doyle, the telephone buggers, I hasten to add, came unstuck and were eventually to depart the political scene, to the accompaniment of the mass band of the Fianna Fáil Corps playing taps, the Wizard of Leinster House did it again. After an incredible and seemingly interminable series of Will Charlie go? He will. I might. I won't. You've got to. Let's see you make me, etc., etc., he didn't. The long-running serial Dynasty Irish Style finished its season with Mr. Hawhey still ruling the roost. He and his supporters celebrated the occasion with some champagne, which he had earlier converted from water. Mr. Hates then announced that his next trick was to be that of taking two former ministers out of a cabinet and making them vanish. And so the buggers went. There was a little headline tucked away on the front page of the Irish Times one day during the month. Quote, the Arts Council outlined its aid program yesterday, including a grant for a circus. Unquote. Or, putting it another way, Doyle gets state aid. That beer that reached parts that other beers couldn't reach, thus giving your feet a hangover, reached into Cork during the month to buy Murphy's Brewery. Mr. Alan Dukes Esquire, in his role as Minister for Hardship at the time, took as his slogan, the budget that reaches parts of your wallet other budgets haven't reached. The morning after the budget was delivered, a headline in the Irish Independent read, Give us teeth, say taxmen. Good God, they were taking everything else they wanted our teeth as well. And speaking of Cork, the Irish Times reported, A busload of American travel consultants looked on in astonishment when a fight broke out between the owners of a hotel in Blarney they were about to visit and members of the Irish Transport and General Workers Union who were picketing the premises. No, 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 not astonishment. Awe and appreciation at being shown some of the native customs. We always knew that The Quiet Man was a documentary. Well, that's all for now. Come back for another trip down a 25-year memory lane next time. Radio Irish presents 25 Years Ago in Ireland. A bit of an odd look back at some of the notable events of the year 1983 with Bob Gallico.